A dessert that is great to make in the fall, and really for me, any time of the year, is spiced pumpkin bread. And our zoo is going to share her recipe for this scrumptious delight. I love pumpkin bread, so I'm excited. Great. <laughs> okay, um, we have pumpkin, mm -hmm. we have sugar, oil, canola oil, or vegetable oil. Okay. And then we have three nice spices, is uh, like nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves. Then we have three eggs, and we have also nutmeg as a little nut, oh. small tiny uh, nuts. Mm -hmm. And we have baking soda and baking powder mixed here. Mm -hmm. And then we have walnuts. Hmm. Okay? All right, sounds good. So I'll start to run my machine with some, uh, like, three cups of sugar. Okay. Knew there was a reason it tasted mm -hmm. so good. <laughs> <laughs> and one cup of oil. Mm. I'll give this to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Slowly. Then I'm going to mix my eggs and pumpkin. So it's like three eggs. Okay. Uh, pumpkins are, you know, it's wonderful, wonderful orange color. Oh, uh, yeah, it's you know, gorgeous. This, yeah, sorry, while I'm talking. I'm <laughs> so, uh, and you're always careful to break the egg in a separate bowl. Oh, so that yeah, yeah, yeah. There's you, no you shells or anything like that. You're not having to dig through everything. Yeah. I see we've got this pan here. Do you want me to butter that for when it's ready for Oh, please do that. Them? Yeah, okay. that would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah pumpkins so are such a wonderful, wonderful color. And mm -hmm. they just scream autumn. Now, I know that originally um, pumpkins were native to North America, but do you mm -hmm. cook with pumpkins in Turkey at all? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah? We, do, we do use them in Turkey too, but Pumpkin comes in different types, you know, it's, 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 it's like squash. Mm -hmm. you know, we use actually butternut squash for pumpkin desserts. You know, we make... Oh, really? Yeah. Right. Oh. Uh-huh. I didn't know that they were... So I could, in this recipe, in fact, use a butternut squash if I wanted to. Yes. Oh. Yes, you can. Well, but this works time. better. Also, you know, you can get them fresh or by can. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, if I use the fresh pumpkin and scoop out the insides, then do I have to do anything to them before oh, I add them in? I'm going to ask you to repeat one more time. <laughs> sure, what was your question? Before, before we had the runaway uh, mixer. Yeah, I know. Um, if I want to use a fresh pumpkin and I've cut it out, I've taken the seeds out, and I want to use the flesh inside, do I have to cook it or do anything seeds? to it before I the the flesh of the pumpkin before I add it to the batter? Flesh of the pumpkin. The, the 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 meat, the fresh pumpkin. Okay. The fresh pumpkin. Do we okay. have to, do we have to cook oh, you it have ahead to of cook. time? Oh, yeah, you do. You have, you have to, to cook. cook it ahead yes. of time before right, we. Right, right, oh, right. Okay. Oh, you have to cook. Yeah, you have to cook with the water. You have to make a puree, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna add it. And then it. we can add yeah. it. Yeah. But oh, if, okay. if your question today, we have uh, we use the can one. They're very easy to use. Ah. Yep. Uh huh. Gets rid of a lot of steps. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're mixing here three spices together. Okay. Oh, tell me about the spices again. Okay. Nutmeg, mm -hmm. cloves, and cinnamon. Mmm. And they're wonderful, wonderful, you I know, also American them. pie spices. And, you know, going back, it's probably for pumpkin, pumpkin pie, the three spices. I'm going to also show you a little bit of, if you're using a fresh, fresh um, nutmeg, nutmeg, you know, you just, it always gives a wonderful, wonderful smell and aroma. Mmm. Oh, it does. Yeah. Uh -huh. So a little bit more uh, of our nutmeg from our nut, and then I'm going to add my three cups of flour. Okay. Great. And, and then, then classically, you're always mixing the dry ingredients separate from mm -hmm. the wet ingredients, yeah, right? Yeah, it's much easier. You wet uh, your ingredients, and uh, let's run the machine a little bit more. Okay, let's just put this all on the side. Oops, maybe from taking from yeah, here. Oh, okay. Take it. Yeah. So, uh, well, autumn is something that we don't get to see in Turkey. It's so beautiful. 
Oh, really? Uh, with the leaves, you know, the colors and everything. It reminds me, Andy Williams has a beautiful song, Autumn Leaves. Oh, really? That, uh, <laughs> my, my father used to sing and play. Uh, so it's just such a romantic time of the year. It is right? a romantic <laughs> time of the year. And it's if you catch it, I mean, especially. Yeah. Beautiful. It's, right. Uh, what happened? Okay, just getting up. See how uh, beautiful. Look at the color. Mm -hmm. It's very easy, very easy. This is simple. Okay. Again, putting back, locking, and running the machine slowly. So is this a recipe that you, that you picked up from friends or um, that you first oh, had when you came over to the U.S. and said, oh, I got to get that recipe because it's one of my favorites. <laughs> uh, yeah, my friends and then, you know, I look at these certain books and everything. After a while, you know, this is so easy to make. Yeah. You know, it's so simple. It, uh, you know, as I said, I think maybe using the nutmeg from the nuts mm. and, you know, the amount of the spices and everything makes it special for it you. It, it turns to you unique. But... You know, as, as I said, it's a wonderful recipe. Another, the last one is one cup of walnut. Okay. But let me tell you, you can easily use pecan because if, if oh, it's Thanksgiving that time. That would be yeah. good. I love it when, it when it turns to the fall. Every year we've got a great little fair. I live in uh -huh. this little teeny town. We have this great fair and they sell all of these bread, the pumpkin bread, cranberry nut bread, gingerbread. And I always go out and I buy them and I cut them into ah. slices, wrap them up and freeze them. And my freezer right now is stuffed with these breads because I just love them so much. Nothing's better than on a winter morning, mm -hmm. toasting up a little bit of gingerbread, putting some butter on top. Oh, mm -hmm. So That's good. Great. And pumpkin bread, my all time favorite. So if you can just bring the pan oh, sure. close to me, I'm going to do finale. <laughs> so you stirred it all well. So now smooth you've had the mixture. Oven Sorry. preheating. Yeah, we preheated oven 375 degree. Okay. And if you have a loaf pan, that actually, you know, since we call it bread, it would work perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can, this is nine inch pan. You can put it in a round pan if you like. That's it. You there can we put go. It in the oven. All set. I'll help you to open here we are. So it's like 40 minutes. Just test it mm -hmm. uh, with a little uh, toothpick, toothpick or your knife. And it's all done. Let it cool and enjoy.